When it comes to renewable energy, it plays a big role in helping several aspects of climate change. It helps lower pollution levels and can greatly impact ocean acidification. Every time we emit carbon dioxide into, the, into our atmosphere, the ocean always absorbs part of it. This lowers the pH levels and makes the ocean more acidified, which is dangerous for animals whose shells are composed of calcium. If the acidity is high enough, it can completely dissolve the shells and kill the animal, which could significantly affect crab fisheries here in Alaska. Currently, Kodiak is leading in Alaska for renewable energy. Right now, almost 100% of Kodiak's electricity is from renewable energy. Creek. I uh, am a regulatory specialist at Kodiak Electric Association. Renewable means that the resource used to generate electricity is constantly replenished on its own. The opposite of that would be a non-renewable resource, a finite resource, is something that is consumed and used up in generating power. We power our community with hydropower and with wind energy. Water is renewable because it returns through the water cycle through rain and snow. Wind is renewable because the wind continues to blow through the changing of the, the air currents that is blowing all the time in Kodiak. The non-renewable ways is by burning diesel fuel to power an engine. Those require fuel, so you have to bring in fuel, burn it, and then that fuel gets emitted into the air. In Kodiak, the primary sources of renewable energy for us, the resources most available to us on the island, is the wind and the rain. Uh, my name is Robert Foy. I work for uh, NOAA, National Marine Fishery Service, and the Alaska Fishery Science Center. I am the director of the Kodiak Laboratory. Climate change is, and this is a very general statement, but it's caused by increased carbon dioxide, which is caused by the, um, the uh, production and, and the emission of uh, fossil fuel gases, carbon dioxide in particular. My name is Swiska Dusterno, and I work with the Kodiak College. I'm an assistant professor in green biology, and I work a lot with the students in our school district and uh, bring marine science into our curriculum. Fossil fuels, so oil, and oil is nothing else than basically phytoplankton that was produced millions of years ago. So renewable energy is, is critical so that we become independent of oil in the future, so that we don't burn those fossil fuels, so that we don't put all that carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Uh, my name is Marian Owen, and I live here in Kodiak, Alaska. Uh, we live by the ocean and I'm very active in organic gardening and I teach gardening and I write about it in a weekly column because I think we're close to what 100% renewable energy with the wind turbines and then hydropower and so on. Kodiak is now 98 or 99 percent independent of fuel oil so that means we don't burn fuel which means we don't put carbon dioxide into the atmosphere in Kodiak in order to heat our homes, in order to bring electricity into our homes. My name is Kathy Swinney and I work for the National Marine Fishery Service and I am a crab biologist. The biggest way to help with ocean acidification is to reduce um, CO2 emissions, so greenhouse gas emissions into the atmosphere. Kodiak here right now gets all of its electricity from wind or water. Kodiak is actually leading in the state in that respect. Okay, my name is Stosh Anderson, and this is Seth. Seth, show your face on the screen. <laughs> and, uh, I'm Seth Patterson. We are both skippers on this vessel from time to time. I just sit here and you and part of it. This is the Kestrel, reducing our dependency on fossil fuels and the contribution that they give to the greenhouse gases uh, will certainly help ocean acidification. The oceans take up all this carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and just transport it down to the deep ocean somewhere. So 
So the calcium carbonate again dissolves in acid and that acid attacks any uh, shells that use calcium carbonate. Do you remember what happened when we put a shell into vinegar? What happened? It started to dissolve and you could actually see that bivalves like clams and, and cockles um, and any other animals that build calcium carbonate in their shells that they need.